Hello everyone, welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today we are going to be working with loop regions and talking about a few different things we can do to manipulate them. Um, if you remember from our last videos, the way that you lengthen a loop region is to gather its end section right here. Um, but I want to show you today a few uh, different techniques that you might use um, if you're wanting to get in and like let's say add space right here like we want to take this loop region out but if we grab it right there and move it then we move all four loop regions so what can we do well the first thing I like to do if I'm manipulating loop regions is to actually zoom in I want to get a better look at what I'm doing so if you see down here you can zoom in and zoom out um, I'm gonna stay about right here so I want to split this region right here so that I can manipulate it. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to split region. Now it's going to split it right at the playhead. So now I have two separate loop regions. So as I move this out, I can create that space that I was looking for before. So there we go. We can do that. You could also split a loop right in the middle of the loop. Like, say we didn't want to use this part, but we did want to use these parts. So we could slide that over and do like that. So now we have, and we'll zoom back out, a little bit of a gap right there. So here's what we have when we listen. I woke up this morning, looked outside. There we go. So now we've got separate loop regions. Let me show you some other things you can do with these loop regions that are kind of neat. Um, say you wanted to add to this loop region, you could write on your own. So you wanted to use what they have here and then write some of your own. If you click on the bottom of the independent loop region so this is an independent loop region because it's just one there's no actual loop the first one in a series is also always independent but you can click to adjust the end and that's the bottom right corner instead of the top right corner which is to loop the bottom right corner is to adjust the end so you can provide yourself free writing space at the end of this you can also adjust the length of the beginning what if I just want that much of it to loop? Well, now that it's shortened, I can make that part of it loop, which might not sound quite as good. And the good thing is it always remembers these loops and what you had written there before. Finally, the last thing I wanted to show you is that when you're dealing with an independent loop or a stream of loops, either one, you can fade in or fade out the loop. So if you notice, when I'm hovering over the loop, there's a little dot right here in the upper left-hand corner. If I grab that dot and slide it, I'm actually making a fade in. Also happens if you grab the dot at the end and slide it back in. That's a fade out. So let's hear what that sounds like. So those are different things that you can do. The fade in and fade out works with any uh, region you make, whether it be MIDI or a loop region or audio. I hope this has helped.